Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, the new heal and clone tools in On One Photo Raw 2021. The same power that we had before, now we have the added ability to move around the sample points and go back and change them later if we need to. It's a really nice improvement to both tools. Before I show you the feature, if you were thinking about Photo Raw, you think about getting it or upgrading, please take a look at the links in the video notes here. If you use one of those, it'll help support tutorials like this. It won't cost you an extra penny. So let's have a look here. So in this photo of a car, there is an obvious spot right here up in the center part just above the headlight and you know there's a few others here as well I could spend quite a bit of time retouching things away but these couple right in this area are kind of egregious so we want to take care of those we have the retouch tool and we have some new options here we've got a healing brush and that works much like our clone stamp that we've had before now the thing that's added is when we use one of these tools, we get these pins which we can move around. If the sample point's wrong or we want to change it for any reason, we have that option. It used to be you know, kind of one and done, you get it right, and now you've got the options to move things around. So I'm going to start with my healing brush and just hover over this one and click once. And notice I get a red square and a green square. The red is telling me that's the area that I am retouching away. I'm removing the pixels there. And the green is where it's sampling from. If I move my cursor off of the main window, those pins disappear so I can really get a good look at how well of a job the sample did. And this one was great. But let's just say for the sake of argument, I, you see I'll get to move the pins now. Let's say it's sampled right here along like this line, this seam, for some strange reason. And now when I move away, I've got this odd artifact. Well, that's the beauty here is I can reposition these pins so I get a nice clean sample. Now this line here with the chrome, that's a little more challenging because of that seam. It's a better job for the clone tool because that's doing a pixel by pixel copy. But it works the same way. I'll go activate the clone stamp, shrink down, my brush and then I'll click once right there and let's see where it's sampled. As a matter of fact, I'm going to zoom in one more notch. Okay, so this is a little more of a challenging sample, but now that I'm zoomed in, I can reposition that pin and line those things up just like that. Let's move off to the side. That's looking really good. Now, if you weren't watching this video and you look at this photo later, You've never known that I'd retouch that thing away. And this actually points out one other uh, suggestion I have. If you're doing a lot of retouching in a small space, in close quarters, really zoom in because otherwise you can get the pins on top of one another. And you notice as I hover over another pin, I have the option to choose it. Where if I wanted to do another retouch inside here, uh, that is going to become very challenging because you know I've already sampled and retouched one space. So if you're working with a lot of retouches in a small area, zoom in really far, like beyond 100%. And uh, on a keyboard, you can do a Command or Control Plus to just zoom in as tight as you need to. And that is going to do it for this one. So I can say that I'm done. And you know, if I wanted to do other work, I go in, I add filters. Say I want to come back and go, you know what? I've got this other blemish right here I want to take care of. Let me get my retouches again. I still have those other pins. They're still there. I can still work with those. But here, I'll just go ahead and do a retouch on that one. And that one I'll need a little bit of adjustment because it's kind of right along a seam there. So that didn't feel good. Let me delete that. Punch in one more time maybe shrink my brush down a little bit and be a little more precise about how I take care of that. And that one's looking a whole lot better. Maybe I'll change the sample point so I don't duplicate another little blemish. And there we go. So that is how the retouch and the clone tools work. And I say the retouch group, you have a healing brush, you have a clone stamp. They work the same way. The difference between the two, healing will do kind of a, a smoothing of pixels, where clone stamp will do a pixel by pixel copy. So if you've got hard edges, lines you need to maintain, texture you need to maintain, 
use clone. If you're just looking to do an overall smoothing and you know general retouch, like up in the sky or you know, a blemish on a person's face, although I'd probably use portrait for that, or in this case, the paint job on a car, use the healing tool. Hope you found this useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.